it's narrated by Abi Dawood and a Tirmidhi and Abu Ya'la narrated in his Musnad and Hakim in his Mustadrak on the authority of Abu Huraira radiyallahu ta'ala anhu an an nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam annahu kana ida atasa ghatta wajhahu bitawbihi aw yadihi the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was one that if he sneezed or if he yawned ghatta wajhahu bitawbihi the prophet would take the side of his garment and he was would cover it over his face okay or with the over his hand and he would lower his voice he would lower the voice he wouldn't make it he wouldn't do it loud the reason why you cover the mouth is because something that comes out of your mouth or your nose doesn't go on the person who's right next to you like any buzaka that comes out of your mouth and any saliva or things like that which most likely will when you sneeze right so it doesn't go on the person who's right next to you right Or might, uh, might even come out of your mouth something that it's it's not nice for people to see coming out of your mouth, I mean, etc. Um, it's also said that it's liked that the person goes far from the people when he wants to sneeze. Ibn Taymi rahimahullah he says al bu'du adabun gharib. Ibn Taymi rahimahullah says, Ani, going away from the people, far from the people, it's not it's a strange manners manners. No, that's not the case. Okay? Just cover your mouth when you sneeze. And uh, hide your, 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 fa your face when, when it is. If you don't have anything to do with it, then do it with your hand. Okay? Another thing is, when you do it with your hand, brothers and sisters, if things go on your hands, don't wipe your hands together. Because a lot of people might not want to shake your hands ever again. After seeing that, okay, what's fascinating, brothers and sisters, is that really fascinating is this we're talking about is is it's hygiene, right? All of these things, right? Correct. Yeah, brothers and sisters. These books were written seven, eight hundred years ago of mannerism and things like that. Okay? Telling us how to take care of ourselves in hygiene and this and that. And some books were written a thousand stuff years ago. COVID is when? COVID is now, right? Social distancing, not sneezing in people's face, covering your mouth when you're sneezing. Yeah? Yeah, brothers and sisters. All of this is, is it's a recent phenomenon, right? The world's now suddenly taking care of hygiene. Yeah, the, 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 the COVID is only two years now. Now, suddenly, it's so important to wash your hands. <laughs> Yeah, so important to wash your hands now. Suddenly, it's, now it's important. Suddenly, now it's important to not sneeze in people's faces. Cover your face when you... Yeah? Now, social distancing when it comes to people who are ill has become like... It become very important. Danny? What I mean is, I'm coming from the perspective of the non-Muslims, how now they're realizing all of this, but Islam is what? It's always been there. Yeah? So, it's hygiene um, and protecting yourself from, yani, it's, it's always been there. Even if you look at the utensils, the Prophet ﷺ, in the hadith of Jabir ibn Abdullah radiallahu ta'ala anhumah, in Sahih Muslim, the hadith in Sahih Muslim, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, غَطُّ الْإِنَاءَ وَأَوْكُ السِّقَاءَ فَإِنَّ فِي السَّنَةِ لَيْلَةً يَنْزِلُ فِيهَا وَبَاءٌ لَا يَمُرُّ بِإِنَاءٍ لَيْسَ عَلَيْهِ غِطَاءٌ أَوْ سِقَاءٍ لَيْسَ عَلَيْهِ وِكَاءٌ إِلَّا نَزَلَ فِيهِ مِنْ ذَلِكَ الْوَبَاءٌ 
the Prophet sallallahu he said, قُلْ إِلَاءَ Cover the utensils. وَأَوْكُ السِّقَاءَ And the water skins that you have, close them. فَإِنَّ uh, فِي In every year, there is a what? There's a night in the year where there comes down plagues, type of illnesses. لا يمر بإناء doesn't go by a utensil. ليس فيه غطاء أو سقاء ليس عليه وكاء إلا نزل فيه من ذلك الوباء. Except that the, the illness might go inside there. <laughs> Ibn al-Qayyim says in Izad al-Mi'ad, listen to this, yeah. He said, وهذا مما لا تناله علوم الأطباء ومعارفهم. At that time, Ibn Taymiyyah saying this. Uh, Ibn al-Qayyim, he in his book, Kitab, the Prophetic Medicine, is, the Kitab Zadul Ma'ad, in there is the Prophetic Medicine, right? That's where it was taken from. In there, he says, Ibn al-Qayyim, this is something that the, the knowledge of the scientists and the doctors have not reached, and their knowledge hasn't reached this. That's when, he, those days, they, they didn't know these things, like covering your, yeah, sir? If you, <laughs> Europe, at this time, were, they were, they were not showering and they were they believed their the feces that came from them and etc was 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 healthy and it was any crazy theories they had so this is like in what nabila muhammad taught us alayhi salatu salam when then so social distancing is something that the Prophet spoke about. Social dis distancing. Nabi Lai Muhammad spoke about it before. Hadith Abu Huraira, right? Fi Sahihain. Bukhari Muslim both narrated. La yuridu mumridun ala al -musihi. An ill person should not be يعني, free to walk around people who are healthy. The Prophet even went as far as to explain to the Bedouins because the Bedouins, they need to understand things to a... Uh, يعني, a very clear manner, the Prophet ﷺ, he said to them, if your camels, there's one of them that's ill, would you let that camel stay with other camels which are healthy? No. And then the humans who are ill should not be let. And that's why when the uh, plague happened in Sham, okay, Abdullah ibn Amir, he mentions that Umar, he went to Sham, okay, and Umar, when he reached Bisabrin, Bisabr, a place called Sabr, it reached him that there's a wabat, that there's a there's a, يعني, a plague that's happened in Sham. Okay. Umar didn't know what to do at this moment. He said, What shall I do then? Abdul Rahman ibn Aufin came forward and he said, I have a hadith in this matter. Umar said, Please tell us what it is. He said, I heard the Prophet say. إذا سمعتم به بأرض فلا تقدموا عليه وإذا وقع بأرض وأنتم بها فلا تخرجوا فلا تخرجوا فرارا منه. If you hear about it, a plague in a land, don't go forward. And if it happens in a land and you're there, don't leave it فرارا منه because of fear of it. Yani, quarantining, if the hadith shows, social distancing, the hadith, social distancing comes from the hadith, la yurid wa mumridun ala al musihi. The quarantining comes from, ila sami'utum bihi bi ardin fala taqdimu alayhi wa ila waqa'a bi ardin wa antum biha fala taqruju firara minhu. Aynam. So this is a deen which is kamilun. It's a what? It's a religion which is, it's a complete religion. 